Never be a willing participant in violence. Only offer greater violence to the evil man who has left you no other choice. Hey folks, in today's video we're going to review a fatal self-defense shooting that was captured on a store's video surveillance, which has caused some controversy. And we'll jump right into that right after the channel intro. Remember, you are ultimately responsible for protecting yourself and for providing for yourself. Live your life with honor and integrity, and always be the wolf hunter. Don't be the sheep, and never be the wolf. Okay, here's a fatal self-defense shooting that took place in Louisiana where a man shot another man and killed him, and the prosecutor's office in that jurisdiction called it a justified shooting. So I'm just going to go ahead and play the video first so that you can see the video in its entirety, and then we will replay it where I'll kind of break it down, and, and, and I will give my thoughts on it, and I want you to comment then on your thoughts on it. Okay, the guy in the dark shirt at the register, he's given the uh, the employee a bunch of grief. And if you didn't catch it, a guy carrying open carrying a firearm just walked into the store and had walked back on one of the aisles. Now here the manager's actually calling the police, tell, telling the uh, troublemaker to leave. And the, the troublemaker leaves, he comes back into the store to, to, to cause more issues for the uh, employee. And the employee's just trying to get him to leave. He's just saying, hey, get out of here. I, I've already called the police, just you need to leave. Now our gun permit guy here, uh, the guy carrying the open carrying the gun, wearing the black shirt here, and here you can see that the gun's open on the side. He comes up and he's just trying to, looks like to me he's just trying to stay out of it. And again the employee's back on the phones and he's calling the police and, and you can see the troublemaker looks like he's trying to uh, drag the, uh, the open carrying guy into the argument. The guy actually comes back in and he uh, throws something at the uh, employee and he leaves again and that's when uh, some people decide to follow him out, including our uh, gun, a guy carrying the gun. Now you can see the uh, the troublemaker makes it to his car, and here the uh, guy open carrying approaches his car, and uh, that the troublemaker starts back up being belligerent. And you can see here he's pushing him, he's uh, he's getting pretty aggressive with, with the guy carrying the gun, which is pretty dumb. Now the uh, the guy carrying the gun is is trying to uh, to retreat back gets back into that corner and he uh, ends up shooting the, uh, the troublemaker here. And once he uh, shoots the troublemaker then he's able to uh, get out of there. Okay so let's break this video down step by step and let's see what everybody thinks about it. Now the guy in the dark colored shirt that's at the register is for whatever reason he's given the employee a bunch of grief. It's my understanding that he was using uh, racial slurs and stuff like that against the employee. And now an individual that is open carrying a handgun walks into the store. In essence he inadvertently walks into a disturbance that's, uh, that's happening. Now I think this is point number one to remember that whenever you're out in public that you should always be in a state of readiness because you never know what you might be walking into. That guy at that counter very well could have been an armed robber instead of just being a belligerent person. Also from the different news stories I've read on this it's being reported that this person that's open carrying is also a firearms instructor. So my guess would be that he probably gives instruction not on just shooting a firearm but probably use of force issues also. After a while of this person being belligerent to the employee, the employee I imagine has told him to leave to leave the store and I believe he's uh, picking up the, the phone to actually call the police. Now the guy leaves and for whatever reason he returns back into the store to continue causing trouble for the employee. And the employee continues trying to get the guy just to leave the store. And now our firearms instructor uh, comes up to the register with the uh, belligerent guy still still causing trouble. Now you'll notice that the firearms instructor is just trying to keep out of it. My guess is that he's seeing that right now it's just it's just a verbal disturbance only that there's that there's no immediate danger to anyone. So he's just going to try to keep himself out of it for right now. And just for brevity for the rest of this video, I'm just going to refer to the firearms instructor as the FI just again just for brevity. And here you can see that it appears that the troublemaker actually tries to draw the FI into the disturbance. And by what I read of the FI's body language, it appears that he, again, he's just trying to keep out of it. Now if you'll notice here, the FI actually walks to the other side of the troublemaker. 
And I don't know if this was done intentionally or not, but as a firearms instructor as and as law enforcement myself, this would be a typical move that I would do myself so that I would be placing my firearm away from the guy. This and this is done just to give a little bit of protections as you just don't you just don't know what's going through that troublemaker's mind. Now finally, after a few moments of this belligerent behavior, it appears that the uh, troublemaker just kind of gives the bird, flips his middle finger to everybody, and just walks out. And then for whatever reason, uh, he walks back in and then throws something at the employee before leaving again. And for whatever reason, the FI and others, it appears looks like that they uh, follow the troublemaker outside. Now I believe that he followed him outside to try to get the troublemaker's license plate because it appeared that the guy was, was going to be able to leave before the cops uh, got there, before the cops arrived. And judging by the troublemaker's body language of trying to block the view of his license plates, I'm, I'm thinking that my guess is probably correct. Now in some of the other places where I have reviewed the story, a lot of people have been giving this FI a lot of grief for following the guy out to the car. Many stated that they felt like that he escalated the situation by doing so. And I just want to remind everyone that we weren't there. We don't know what kind of a threat that the FI was perceiving at that moment of time. We don't know if the troublemaker articulated that he was going to go out to his car to get a weapon, or if the FI just had a concern of that or whatever. And if the FI only was trying to get his license plate, he didn't escalate the situation by doing so. Ultimately, the troublemaker escalated that situation by trying to stop his license plate from being recorded after he committed an illegal disturbance. So folks, I just think it's time that we quit laying the blame on legal citizens and start laying the blame squarely on the bad guys. Now you can see in the video that the FI has tried to retreat back into the store, but the troublemaker has followed him, and it appears that the FI has already drawn his firearm here. Now here's where I have seen a lot of people condemn the FI for already having his firearm drawn on the troublemaker who looks to be obviously unarmed. Now I myself, if it was words only and shoving only, I myself wouldn't have pulled my firearm yet either. And if you watch my channel, then you know that I'm all about the preservation of life. But again, we have to remember that we weren't there to know exactly what kind of danger the FI was perceiving at that moment in time. We have to remember that we're watching this video, which is a one-dimensional video that has no audio, but we're watching this video from the safety of our own home or wherever. And we have to remember that, that we are not involved in this situation, which appears to be getting uglier by the moment and rapidly evolving. And we have to remember that we don't know what kind of threats this troublemaker is articulating towards the uh, FI at this moment. Is he threatening to take the guy's gun away? Is he threatening that he's got a knife and he's going to cut the FI? Is he saying he's going to beat the FI down and break his neck? Or is he just saying he's going to beat him up? We don't know. Now, if he's threatening to take your gun away, or if he's verbally threatening some other life-threatening attack against you, then I think it would be smart to go ahead and have your firearm out. And if he's only threatening to black your eye, then it may possibly be a good time to, to keep your firearm put away and attempt empty-handed skills to defend yourself. Either way, we were not there to know what kind of danger the FI was perceiving at that moment of time. So people should remember that they shouldn't be so quick to judge another person's actions unless they were there in that situation and they know all of the facts. Now, if you've watched my other videos, you know that I dislike the duty to retreat law and I support the stand your ground law. But while I support the stand your ground law, I still suggest that you always try to retreat if you can do so without getting yourself hurt. And you notice that the FI is trying to push the troublemaker back and is trying to retreat. And I think that this helped his case. I think it showed that he held off on using deadly force until he felt like that he was forced to do so. Now this FI ended up retreating into a dead end and allowed himself to get backed up into a corner. Now while that isn't the ideal place to end up, I believe it's hard to fault the guy as he's obviously having to concentrate on this troublemaker who's being aggressive towards him. And he probably thought it was going to lead him to a manager's office or someplace where he could get behind a closed door. 
And here you can see the Troublemaker actually tries pulling the FI back out of the area he's trying to retreat to. Now here's where the FI shoots the Troublemaker. And I want you to stop the video right now and honestly answer in the comment section below if you think it was a bad shooting because the guy was unarmed or if you thought it was a good shooting. Now if you said that you thought it was a bad shooting, I want you to re-watch the video and notice that the bad guy went for the FI's gun and that's when the FI shot. And many people miss the fact that he went for the FI's gun. They mentally register it only as the bad guy going to go shove the FI again. And many people miss the fact that he went for the FI's gun. They, most people, a lot of people just mentally registered that the bad guy was only going to, to go shove the FI again. Remember folks, anytime a bad guy goes for your gun, it's probably deadly force time. When a bad guy goes for your gun, he has just given you solid proof that your life is in serious jeopardy. And when my life is in serious jeopardy like that, I'm going to shoot the bad guy. Now if you notice, even after the FI shoots the bad guy, that the bad guy doesn't just drop down dead immediately like they do in Hollywood movies. That guy is still a physical threat, and eventually the pain of the shot overcomes the bad guy and the FI is able to get out of there. Now if the bad guy had been armed with a knife in that situation during that short time that it took him to succumb to the trauma of that gunshot, but during that short time he could have slashed that FI up a lot. So this is just a visual lesson for us to learn that many times that a bad guy can still be a real threat, a real danger to us, even after they are shot. So I think this is a good shoot. I think all blame lies squarely on the bad guy. His stupid decisions cost him his life. He caused the disturbance and he assaulted the FI for trying to get his license plates. And it appears that he tried to go for the FI's gun. Again, I think it's really important for us to start putting the blame on the bad guys instead of the legal citizen. Now in a future video, I'm going to talk about the clothes that we wear in public and about my thoughts on open carrying, but I'm going to save that for that other video. But folks, just always please remember that when you judge somebody's self-defense actions from a video that you're watching, you just, you just have to remember that you're watching a one-dimensional video and that you're watching it in a static and clean environment and you're not experiencing or perceiving the danger that the other person is and you're not involved in that tense and rapidly evolving situation. And we also need to remember that when we read a news story or watch a video that we shouldn't have knee-jerk reactions and jump to conclusions. We need to let all the facts come in and then make an educated decision. I saw where a lot of people that after they watched the video that they would have had the FI arrested for murder. But luckily their local prosecutor or DA, not only did they just watch the video, but they also studied it. Then they took witness statements, then they got statements from the FI, and then they collected all other evidence before making a decision of whether to charge him or not. So folks, I hope this video helped out a little bit on understanding how some deadly force situations can play out and how we shouldn't be too quick to either condone or condemn somebody's actions until we get more facts than just a video. And please comment below with your thoughts on the video. If you agree with me, let me know. And if you disagree with me, let me know too. Just please do it in a constructive way. And if you like the video, then please give it the thumbs up and share it on Facebook or Twitter or wherever. And if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to this channel as I'll be making many more videos dealing with prepping and self-defense issues down the road as time permits. Anyways, folks, if you made it this far, thank you very much for watching, and I pray that you have a good night.